Hey everybody, Jess here with Everyday Organics. I want to talk to y'all today about pH and why it's important for your aquaponics system. So a lot of places can either have highly acidic or highly alkaline type of soils. We here have a very high alkaline. Um, we have a lot of limestone in our groundwater and just in the ground in general, um, which causes a lot of alkalinity. So what you're going to definitely need to do is invest in the uh, freshwater master test kit. Very important. And also what I really like, and especially because you're testing so much, I mean, you're testing maybe a couple, two, three times a day sometimes, especially when you're trying to get it first leveled out, invest in one of these. It is so, so worth it. So easy to use too. So. Take the cap off so you have your little plug in. Turn it on. Just stick it in the water. And it gives you your pH reading, which ours in this pool is about 6.8, 6.88, somewhere in there, um, which is good. I mean, you want to be as close to 7, as, which is neutral, as you can. Um, our water here straight out of the tap, so when we fill these up, is a pH of about 8, which is really alkaline, um, it's really high, so you also want to be careful when you're adjusting. You don't want to just dump a bunch of additive into your, you know, either up or down, whichever way you're trying to go. You want to do it in small increments. Um, whether that's because you already have fish in your system, if you have fish, you only want to adjust like 0.2 pH at a time. So very small amounts. Um, if, you know, we don't have fish in here yet, we tried fish, they died, we decided to just go ahead and um, do a cycling method without the fish. Um, so we're not killing off a hundred of them again. Rest in peace, Goldies. So, um, you know, adjust slowly. And then once you're, you know, maybe even every like two or three days, add some in just so that you know that your levels are taking and that you're not going to get a huge spike because you can add a bunch of additive into it and think that, you know, you've got it, you know, right or down or it's still not coming down enough when really it's like way lower, but your levels are just completely out of whack so it's not reading right um, so be really careful really careful when you're adjusting your pH um, like I said we have both of our um, two tanks here which are still very kind of like you know blackish brown looking they look they look horrible but it's liquid seaweed in them because we are I think as I've told y'all before we're doing the Murray Hollum method which is adding liquid seaweed to the tanks, letting them cycle with our plants in them um, for about two weeks. And the liquid seaweed is supposed to put enough of everything that you need to start ammonia in here and to get your nitrites going, which then produce, you know, your nitrates will come in and start eating that. Um, so it's supposed to kind of jumpstart the whole system. So we're giving it a, we're giving it a shot. We're gonna see how it goes so far. Um, the tanks are staying pretty level as far as pH is concerned um, with their the liquid um, seaweed it's giving enough nutrients to all the plants like everything that we're trying to propagate is actually doing really really well um, I mean look at the roots on these things right I mean everything super duper happy um, we are getting lots and lots of little seedlings popping up everywhere. That one is our burgundy okras. We've got some little habanero plants coming up here. Can't have enough habanero in Texas, right? I mean, we like it spicy. Um, we've got some other regular okras and I don't know if y'all have seen this in one of our other ones, but look at this table. Look at all these corn and chard. And look at these little teeny tiny lettuce. They're so cute. So 
back to the pH. pH is super important. Fish and the plants really need a, as close to neutral as possible. It's a good happy medium for your their environment. Some fish like it to be more acidic or more alkaline. Same thing with the plants, but both of them can thrive at a neutral pH. Um, so you want to aim for as close to seven as you can get, um, which is, you know, I went a little bit too low in one of my pools. It's like 6.88, which is, you know, a tenth too low, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to say that's close enough and we'll see what happens. Keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't get any lower. Um, but yeah, I mean, really pH is super important. You're nothing's going to live if you have it, you know, too alkaline or too acidic. It's just either your plants are all going to die or your fish are all going to die or everything's going to all die. And you know, for how much money and time, your time is invaluable and let's all face it, getting an aquaponic system set up and getting it running and doing all the plumbing and everything it takes, all the books and YouTube videos and everything else that you're doing to get the, your system going, it takes a lot and you really don't want to waste it all by not getting your pH right. So, I mean, it is probably as far as what I've seen so far, the most important thing um, that you can do with your system. Nothing's gonna work right without it. Um, we also have some lavender over here, which are something that do like it to be more alkaline. They love, 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 love um, limestone. But we also have a lavender farm here on the property. So that's why we're doing a whole table of lavender. We're gonna stick some more in here, but they seem to be doing pretty well so far. They're happy. Um, we had to put these shade screens in everywhere because well, it's really hot here and the sun just, even though we're under a covered pole barn, the sun still just bakes, literally bakes the plants. So Texas, it's hot here, really hot. This year we've been lucky. We haven't had any hundred degree days yet. I don't think maybe one, um, it's been, you know, eighties or nineties. It's been raining. Everything is still green, which is really, really weird for here. Um, it's normally, you know, over a hundred for a while now and no rain. We should be in a severe drought this year. It's just been so wacky. We've had all sorts of rain. We had, it snowed twice. One of the times was the big snow apocalypse. I'm sure everyone heard about in the news where, you know, Texas couldn't survive in the cold, but it was, we're not used to it here. It's, we're not built for it. And it was, it was hard. It was tough. Um, but we are happy to have our aquaponics system up and going and we're very excited to continue learning and becoming masters of our own little aquaponics world here. Cause you know, everyone's system is different. And from everything I've read and all these people keep asking, oh, well, how do I set this up? Or what's the best system? And really it's all up to you and the space that you have and what you're willing to do or the amount of time or money that you want to expend on this endeavor. Cause let's face it, you could do you know, a couple of tables, you know, spend a few hundred dollars and have a nice little setup or you can spend tens of thousands of dollars on these setups. Um, it just kind of depends on how you run them, the type of setup that you have. Um, it all just depends on your space and what you want to do with it. And you can use your own imagination and creativity. And it's kind of like being a kid again and getting to build, you know, the, the place of your dreams, which is kind of what we're doing here with our little up we've got our little waterfall going on it's still a work in progress but you know we really we're really enjoying it and we really hope that all of you enjoy your setups and that you're enjoying watching us learn and you know strive to master this little art that we're trying to accomplish um make sure y'all subscribe follow comment let us know what y'all want to know about us what y'all want to know about our farm um anything you'd like to learn about we are happy to do a video on and you know help in however we can and if y'all have tips for us let us know i mean we're here to learn too so follow up the community and we're happy to have y'all along this ride with us make sure and subscribe and we'll see y'all soon